All right, so I'm here. Day two. Well, last night my intent was only to unload it, which I have done. And it is now unloaded all over the place. These ramps are ridiculously heavy. Um, oh, I got some water on the line. The ramps are really heavy. Um, but that's a good thing. Anyway, uh, it's raining outside. I don't know why I have to tell you this stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to start putting this thing together. Uh, the instructions are totally wrong. Uh, it's almost like they are made for a lift that uh, doesn't even exist. So I'm going to do my best trying to figure out what they mean. Um, uh, so, yeah, let's get started. Check these out. Half inch plate steel. Isn't that insane how thick that is? So I believe these are that go on the top of the columns. And these will basically support the entire weight of the lift and the vehicle. I know, it's crazy. Okay, so this is probably the best view I can give you. But, and of course it just started pouring, so you might not be able to hear me. But what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to install the cross rail into the column. But because I don't want to pick it up and set it in the columns, I'm going to do it the reverse. Just watch! Now I have the cross rail installed in the column. Now I have to pick it up. This might be a little more difficult, but we'll see what we can do. First things first, probably slide all the way down. Something like that. Now this is where it would help to have another person. Um, I kind of want to try the lock rails. So these are the lock rails here. In all the directions they say, oh, the lock rails are already in the columns. Well, they're not, at least on the one that I got. So, um, I don't know if there's a front or a back. It looks symmetrical. The cuts all look square, so... I'm going to assume there's no front and back, and if you look in the column, you can actually see a slot where this would go. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I guess that works like that. I wonder if I should put the top plates on now as well. It's going to add like 100 pounds. So check this out. See that slot there? And that slot there? That's where the lock plate slides down into. Um, so I slid this one down in, as you can see. Uh, clearly I need to bring it back. Not that far, you idiot. Anyway, uh, so I may just install these after. I think it'll be easy enough. Well, stupidly, I didn't take a video, but I just stood that up. It was relatively uneventful. So now I'm going to install the lock bars. Should be able to just take this. Slide it in here. After calling my consultant, um, my father, who has recently installed a lift very similar to this, um, I have figured out what's next based on the instructions and his advice. So what I'm doing here is installing this top plate, and you can see 
a bolt, a bolt, a bolt, and a bolt, all the way around, la la la. Now I'm tightening it. I have this lock ladder uh, installed, and they all need to be installed the same. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. And I'm gonna do the same on this side, the same for the back columns. As you can see, I have my tractor in here. I also have an engine hoist, which I probably need to use both in order to lift these ramps up safely and still be able to control them on, and set them on top of these beams. But for right now, I'm gonna start with these top caps and go from there. There's like 16 bolts and 32 washers and it's gonna take a while. So. Okay, so that top plate is installed. Look at that thing, it's half inch plate steel. Um, note where the hole is on the left. That's where your cable is gonna go. And so it should be on the side where your cable is, the inside. Um, unless I have these cross beams on here backwards, at which point I have to do it all over. Let's hope that's the case. So now I'm gonna do this side. Okay, so I'm well on my way. I have the top plates, the locking ladders. That's all tight, that's all tight. I lifted the crossbar and it locked into the two locking ladders. So that is locked in place. Now I need to do the same on the back one, then position them in place, and then lift the ramps. Now it says to do the cylinder one first, but I'm going to find it easy. Uh, I don't know. I may do it at the same time with the engine hoist on one side and the tractor on the other. I uh, don't know yet. We shall see. 